of my project is establishment of the Chesapeake Bay Watershed Preserve. And oops. first, I would like to give thanks to uh, my faculty advisors, Professor Chris Swan from the GS department, and Kazubon from the photography department, and she's all the way back. Um, of course, Mr. McAlpine, and Jim Scott, who's not here. Uh, Chris Wong's not here also, he's on sabbatical. So cool. Jim Scott, who pretty much got the ball rolling, so it was very important. And before I begin, I would just like to pose this question. Um, what is the value of photography in advocating for environmental awareness? A thousand words. <laughs> That's right. I mean, what, what is the importance of relaying photographic information, letting people know of environmental problems? As you can see from these two images, the problems of global warming. Um, the main purpose of my capstone project is to make a compelling argument for an ecological preserve on the Chesapeake Bay. Um, the Chesapeake Bay is the largest watershed in um, the United States, one of the largest in the world. Um, these are most of the major stats on it. Um, it is still on the EPA's impaired waters list. Um, some other stats on it. Um, the two major populations that are diminished due to the pollution are the crabs and the oysters, which are valuable um, resources for us. The oyster population is pretty dire. It's at 1% of its original population. So why the York River? Um, well, I went through all my research. Um, there are actually a lot of viable river candidates for preserve. The York River is about the perfect size. It's 40 miles long. Um, it's largely rural. Um, there's 63,000 people living in that watershed. That's basically the size of a small town. So it's 63,000 people spread out to that area. Um, the northern bank, there's only one major city, it's Gloucester. The southern bank, um, there are parks, like the York River State Park. Um, there's a lot of military installations. Um, Navy, CIA, and the Coast Guard all have headquarters there. Methodologies. Um, well, in my research, I did a lot of literary research. I went through a lot of databases and journals. Um, the photography, I went down to the York River and took pictures of the landscapes there. Um, I got a lot of information. Actually, a good part of my information, particularly in getting this river, was um, through informal interviews. So I talked to people from CBF. Um, I talked to people from other areas, such as Jim Bay. And river keepers and water keeper sites, um, those are websites that each um, major river, a lot of the ma major rivers on the Chesapeake Bay actually have organizations that oversee them, sort of like a pr protective organization, miniature CBS, so to speak. And um, the York has one, um, Manticoke has one, um, Sassafras, there's the, most of the rivers have their organizations and they have a lot of information on their rivers that's useful. Um, the disciplines, those are the three major ones. Environmental studies is multi multidisciplinary inherently. So the, with environmental studies, there's cartography, there's conservation biology, ecology. There's all these disciplines that apply into the project. Um, photography is the other discipline, and it's my big love. So um, of course, I'm, the end product of my capstone is going to be a multimedia object. So photography is important. And environmental policy, that's going to be big toward the end, and, and that's in the advocacy part. Um, bridging strategies, the major one is bridging the explanation action gap. And um, most of the research through environmental studies and photography is used for the explanation, getting the information um, for advocacy. And um, the photography and the advocacy, the environmental policy, all of that will go into the action part, and it'll hopefully incite people to act when they see um, the images, um, maybe it'll move them to pursue the idea of creating a preserve. My findings, um, well I found that 
this is not an original idea of, of setting up a national park on the Chesapeake Bay. This has been attempted before, at least thought of before, by a number of different organizations. And um, national park is not going to happen. They're, they're not going to do that with Chesapeake Bay. It's too many cities. The land around is privately owned. I mean, most of Maryland is privately owned. Um, but the idea of setting up a preserve is possible. Um, and they are looking to set aside land on the Chesapeake Bay, as per um, President Obama, you know, for you know protective areas like preserves or preserves or any of those more parks. Um, the York River was one of many rivers that could be used for a preserve. I find that ideal, um, but there are many others. Um, Matter Woman is another one. It's not exactly a tributary of the Chesapeake Bay, but. They, it has um, challenges of its own. They're looking to build a cross-country um, connector through there. Um, and there's a lot of other rivers. There's many tributaries. And the idea of setting a preserve on a river, it's supposed to be a microcosm of the Chesapeake Bay you know, as a whole. So as an ecological preserve, it's going to be, um, there'll, there'll be like cities, there'll be like land use, but it'll be protected, there'll be like green spaces. That, that's the whole concept. It'll be a microcosm the entire Chesapeake Bay. Um, the challenges of preservation, well, I mentioned some there, uh, that um, basically most of the land, of course, is privately owned. So it goes to advocating for places, setting aside places to build a preserve. Um, the conclusions, um, I want to mention limitations. Uh, the two major limitations I had were um, money and time, and usually I had one, but not the other. Basically, I worked out. But, so I have lots of time. I wouldn't have money. And uh, money is important because um, I have to go down to the York River. And it really, to, to get a full photographic um, documentation of setting up a preserve at the York River would require like three or four days at least of, of picture taking to get every area, you know, get different land use areas. So that was a limitation, and um, time, of course, you know, having like the week to just stay there and get pictures was um, a limitation. Um, the importance of photo documentation, I mean, that's my entire caption right there, is to have advocacy, uh, visual advocacy for a preservation. And um, I have lots of questions. So any questions? My capstone itself is not finished, so any questions can be useful into the final product. I'd love to see more of the photographs you took. Do you have a slideshow or anything? Do you have more of the, the photos? Uh, unfortunately not. No. I was also going to putting them together and putting up a slideshow. I, have, I actually have a lot of, not of the York River, but I, have, I do have a lot of pictures of the Chesapeake Bay. Uh, maybe have something up put on, you know, Facebook or something. But yeah, I was thinking of doing that. Me? Yeah, I raise my hand. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, what sort of things do you focus on when you go to take pictures? Well, I'm very artistic, so a lot of my pictures I focus on the aesthetics first. Um, for the purpose of this project, you know, I have uh, goals in mind, so. I also, for taking pictures of this, I want to get different land use on the York River. Like, I want to get um, more cities, see maybe see areas where there's degradation. Um, just images of how different sections are used. I was going to go upriver to, um, I think it was Pamunkey. Pamunkey has like an Indian reservation up there and take pictures of that. So just a very broad, you know, look of the area around there and to show what how the land is used and how that affects the river. Did you find any historical photographs that have been taken similar to like your introduction introduction, your attention gather, the difference over time? Actually, no I haven't, but I do plan on finding and using some in, in the finished product. I do I also want to mention that in what I'm planning to do the um, when I'm done with UMBC is I, I work with CBF, I, well, as a volunteer, I, I do advocacy for them. And, you know, they know a, a little bit that I'm working on this project, so I'm hopefully maybe, like, 
promote it with them, see if they would like me to do something more immersive or something more thorough with them. So that's one possibility in the future. Seems to me you have a lot of opportunity. One of your uh, areas was environmental policy, is that correct? Seems to me there's a lot of oppor potential opportunity to use your photographs in a design format that could be shared with policymakers along with the data that's there. Have you thought about that? Yes. Yes, definitely. Um, I mean, hopefully, like, like, ideally, the capstone will reach people who are in position to make policy, and then that will really get the ball rolling. And you know, saying, "Well, hey, we could build a preserve here. That's you know, not a bad idea. You know, and let's you know, get the idea out and get, go to the right channels, you know, legislative channels, and see what happens." Other Taking the river was actually like the hardest part, or one of the hardest part of the projects, because there's so many viable rivers. Um, the York, um, basically, it, first of all, it was the perfect size. It's 40 miles long. That, that, that's really ideal. Um, it is a river. It's wide. It's got a deep channel, so it gets a lot of use. Um, it's got a rural population, um, so there's plenty of opportunities to set up, you know, a preserve there. It's and um, you know, visiting it, I was pretty, I was pretty impressed with the area. It, I mean, it, it's a gorgeous river, and um, on the map it looks kind of intimidating. It looks kind of big, but when you get close to it, it's really not that big. So it's, I mean, it, it's a, it's a river that's ideal for the project. And um, there are there are many other rivers that could be used to it. So I, I think it was kind of. When I really think about it, it was kind of like drawing out of a hat and just saying, okay, you're Lynn, did you, uh, so far back, did you have anything you would like to share in your expertise in photography? No. She was helpful in, with me um, getting the pictures on the slideshow. Like these, I took these and have to over to I don't see any evidence, though, of anything that is obviously or yeah, it's well. Or first of all, trash or erosion, or maybe that maybe those trees are dying. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> um, that this is a state park, so this is well, these pictures were taken at a state park. So this is a protected area. So it, in a way, this is hopefully what the preserve would look like. Um, but yeah, um, as I mentioned earlier, a, a more immersive trip down there, a more successful one, I should add. I would have gotten more variety in the images, and it would make a stronger argument. Well, and, and to interpret what it is that we should be looking for, if we want to change policy, if we want to yeah, exactly. The, see something we don't see without. Yeah, because you know, as it is, they would look at that and they would say, "Well, it, it looks pretty particular. It is. You know, it's pretty nice." So you know, ideally, I would have more images and of different variety. Of, you know, of land use settings, and we'll show more of some of the problems that involve the York River and the Chesapeake Bay as a whole, for that matter. Does it have a river keeper, the York River? I believe they do. I believe they do. They but you didn't keepers. interview that person. Uh, no, nah, but the river keepers are mostly websites um, run by organizations, so uh, I've never. But there are them. real river keep people, um, actual human beings on rivers. But you don't know about the York. Nah, nah. I, I could I mean, get a, try to get a hold of someone on the Riverkeeper website, and they would have probably a lot of information. Like all these rivers have the river keepers and water keepers, and really that was like the most. Once I found those websites, I really that really got the ball rolling on deciding which river to pick and getting other information.